Hi everyone, it's Jill with Astro Press. So let's talk about Mars in Taurus or Mars in the second house. So Mars in Taurus is an Earth Mars, earthy Mars. It's a sensual Mars. And its focus is on money and material things and beautiful things and sensuality is really important to this Mars. Looking good, smelling good. So, this kind of Mars energy, Mars in Taurus, Mars in the second, may like to work out and look and smell amazing. They may have the best-looking Lululemon pants on at the gym. Their lipstick may be perfect. They may smell amazing. And they have a sensual quality about them at the gym or wherever they work out. They may like to do dance, anything that creates beautiful expressions, any kind of movement movement where sensuality is in the mix. This could mean strip dancing. This could mean ballet. This could mean any kind of a dancing movement. It can also be earthy. So they could like to run outside. They could like to hike Mars and Taurus. They could like to um, box, you know, the kickboxing type things. Mars in Taurus is a sensual energy. Sexually, Mars in Taurus needs sensuality. So, if you got a crush on someone with Mars in Taurus, bring that sensuality to the table. Because they want and they desire and they are attracted to Taurus energies, Taurus sun signs, Taurus rising signs, anybody with Taurus characteristics. This could mean they could be attracted to people with money. They could be attracted to anything sensual. They may like a favorite cologne or massage They may love a favorite lip gloss. The key here is it's a sexual sensuality energy. And it's an Earth Mars. That means they can go the distance. They're patient. They're very patient. Now, as far as an argument with a Mars in Taurus, a Mars in the second, they can hold their own. I wouldn't say they necessarily want to argue. But they will go the distance. Mars and Taurus will never give up. Think bull in a china shop. If you piss off someone with Mars and Taurus, don't be surprised if the bull horns come at you. And no, I'm not kidding. You know, a lot of people think, you know, Scorpio energy is really, you know, the one it's going to be really difficult. And don't get me wrong, Scorpio can be. The difference is Scorpio likes to sting. Scorpio can be more vengeful. Taurus has the consistency factor. They will go the distance where other signs have given up. So, I hope that explains a little bit about Mars in Taurus or Mars in the second house.